Hi, uh, my YouTube friends. Today I will um, uh, give you a chance to get to know one fragrance that is uh, Azaro Mademoiselle and uh, it's also written Lo Très Belle. So I have a sample here but actually um, I had the opportunity to try it also, not only from the sample but from the bottle itself. And my, how to say, my initial experience was that it's sweet and fruity and it's very youthful and it's for young, younger type of uh, lady uh, or the lady that feels uh, young in, in, uh, in her heart as well. And uh, uh, how to say, it's not bad, you know, this fragrance is actually quite nice. I have seen better fragrances, but it's not about uh, which fragrance is better or which is worse. It's simply each of them are different, you know, and it's very difficult, uh, let's say, to tell that uh, if I don't like a fragrance, but because, you know, somebody else really loves that fragrance. So let's talk about uh, pros and cons as well. So, uh, so this one, I enjoyed wearing it. Um, it gave me certain type of I really felt like more youthful when I was wearing wearing it and uh, let me tell you so this bottle would represent that purple bottle because it exists also pinkish bottle too but I have a sample of this uh, you know uh, purple bottle the name of it is Lo Tre Belle it says as well that the notes would be floral fruity, it includes blueberry, wild rose uh, and violet macaron. I am not familiar with this violet macaron, but they basically include this. And uh, I will spray it on and then after we will talk more about it. So I, I, I am not new to this fragrance, I already know how it smells, but let me just remember. So, so again, it's, it's actually nice, it's really, really useful. It's kind of, uh, you know, like maybe it's summer day and you just want you know, you just want to grab some kind of fragrance and just top it up on yourself and you you will be noticed with this fragrance. <clears throat> um, it has a certain character into it, you know. You, like imagine, let's say you are wearing some kind of nice colorful dress and it's summer and which fragrance you're gonna choose? And if you choose this one, it will be kind of more like um, reflecting your image in a way, in a better way, you know. So, so, uh, so, so let, let's uh, now do something else. What, um, what I want to do at the moment is I want to kind of show you what, uh, you know, that brand which created this perfume, which is Azar, what do they say uh, about this fragrance? Like, what image did they had in their head when they created? So, basically, if you seen uh, the trailer of this uh, uh, fragrance, um, I saw it just recently, basically, it's a young, youthful lady with a white dress, and she feels very playful there, like, uh, I don't know if I understood it correct, but basically she sits next to the man who reads the magazine and he does not even see that that lady, you know, was next to her on the same table and he didn't even notice. But that girl, what she did, she realized that the guy is not seeing her and she took some kind of croissant from that table and she very playfully ran away so that that was the trailer of azaro but anyway so it says mademoiselle azaro lo très belle um, the description would be the parisian woman comes and goes basically woman from paris you know she comes and goes now she's back and in love with paris and fragrance and a bottle, probably they mean the bottle of this fragrance, 
this new chapter is uh, enchowed by I don't know this word uh, I'm not, what does it mean enchowed I don't know this chapter is enchowed by a new eau de toilette mademoiselle Azaro lo trebel the beginning of an irresistible rom romance I would really call this uh, fragrance quite romantic because of that uh, being sweet and floral and kind of youthful and I, I yeah, that word of romance, I would say it really would uh, represent this fragrance. Now, what about the longevity? What, um, the, you, when you spray it on, the first one hour, you will experience it as a, you know, great one hour of this fragrance because I think that first hour is what it gives you the best of this fragrance maybe first and the second hour as well together but then after you know i i don't like the same like with the most of the other fragrances that like i just simply it just the smell wears away and i don't experience it as strong as you know the first few hours so it just goes away so i don't know long, longevity maybe it would be th three hours i would say maybe you know and um, so uh, that was all my short description about this mademoiselle le très belle and if you have this fragrance let me know what you think myself uh, i i i would maybe buy this fragrance if like if i would really want to have a great collection in my house you know uh, but uh, i i um, kind of I discovered other fragrances that kind of re reflects myself more better than this so I will hold back and I will not buy it but uh, it's a beautiful uh, fragrance if anybody wants to buy as a present for somebody or uh, buy it you know for themselves just to treat themselves uh, it's uh, quite uh, good good fragrance so thank you for listening to me uh, for all these few minutes and I will come back to you soon bye bye